Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This Marlins video containing all parts, listening, time and numbers, grammar, vocabulary and reading. Do not skip the video because all parts is very important. And please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video. And please share to your friends to help others. Thank you. Excuse me, can you tell me where I can find the hospital? Yes, it's in Bridge Street. It's about five minutes away by taxi, or you can take the number 42 bus. That'll take about 15 minutes to get there. Can I walk there? Oh yeah, it's actually quicker than the bus because you take a shortcut through the supermarket car park. You should get there in about 10 minutes. Right, Chief. We've just received your flight details. You're flying tomorrow by Lufthansa from London Heathrow to Frankfurt and then on to Mumbai. It's not an electronic ticket, OK? You need to pick up your tickets from the airline office in the city this afternoon. The agent will meet you in Mumbai airport and take you to your ship. OK, no problem. Do I need to pay for the tickets? No. The company has paid for them already. When you collect them, just tell them your name and take your passport with you. OK, that's fine. I've just had a look round the vessel, and you remember yesterday I commented on a few things. Yeah, I remember you said you found the ratings used a tin can as an ashtray. And there was a faulty gas meter, and not enough warning signs displayed. Yes, they've mostly been resolved, with the exception of the signs. Can you make sure that's sorted by tomorrow? Yeah, I'm on to it now. What's on the end of that heaving line? It's a metal ball, sir. What are you trying to do? Kill the linesman? Should I put a hook on the end instead? No! Don't you know how to make a monkey's fist? What is that, sir? It's the knot that you should know how to make. Have you ever had to put a fire out? Just a small one. It was when I was working on a dry cargo vessel three years ago. The motorman left a cigarette burning in the mess room while he went to get a coffee. But then he was called away to deal with the problem in the engine room. So he forgot about his cigarette and the fire broke out. Luckily, the fire wasn't too bad and we had it put out quickly. We were really lucky that no one was hurt. Okay, this is the second time in a row you've had problems with the drill. Hmm? The last time you couldn't find your immersion suit. And this time it took you too long to put it on. <laughs> How many minutes should it take you to don it? Um, two minutes, sir. Yes, exactly. How long do you think it took you? I don't know, sir. Well, I timed it, and it took you four minutes. That's not quick enough. Uh, have you got a bad back or something? No, sir. Right, next time I want you to see you done it in two minutes, okay? Yes, sir. Hi, Borislav. Hello, Ron. I haven't seen you for ages. How are you? Have a good time for a coffee? I wish I could, but I'm in a hurry. Maybe we could meet on Friday? Oh, sorry. I can't then. I'm flying out to my ship tomorrow. I'm going to the office now to sign a four-month contract. All oh, right, so where's your ship now? She's in Amsterdam, offloading cargo. OK, well, have a safe trip, and I'll see you when your contract finishes. Right, before joining the vessel, I'd like to remind you that alcohol is strictly forbidden on board ship. Alcoholic drinks must not be brought onto the vessel, and any crew member found to be drunk will immediately be signed off, and an investigation will take place. The same rules apply for the use of illegal drugs. Only drugs prescribed by the doctor can be brought onto the vessel. I'm sure none of you want to lose your jobs, do you? Okay, so don't take any chances. Okay, the bosun has asked us to find the nearest location of these five items on our safety checklist. What's on the list? Well, there's an iron station, a life raft, breathing apparatus, a first aid box, and a fire extinguisher. That's easy enough. Apart from the life raft, all the other items are in the passageway outside the mess room. I saw them this morning when I was on cleaning duty. So where's the nearest life raft? It's on the port side, just forward of the funnel and almost directly above us on the next deck. It's one of those 20-man inflatable rafts. Okay. I suggest we go and check it out, and then report back to the bosun with the completed list.
So you've already had your induction tour, and today you need to make sure you have read through all the important safety procedures. Then tomorrow, we'll make sure you've got all the relevant extra PPE you need. So, how long do you think he's been on board? Not long. He must have got on in one of the ports in Kenya. Probably Mombasa. So, is he Kenyan? No, he said he was escaping persecution in Sudan, but we found papers on him that say he's Somalian. That's a bit of a headache to sort out. Yeah, we're stuck with him till we get to Tanzania, then we'll hand him over to the authorities. You know this port has a reputation for having the most beautiful women in the world. Yeah, my wife's gonna love that. You know what I've been fantasizing about ever since I knew we were coming here? What? A really good steak. I know a fantastic little restaurant near the port. Okay, steak then. Then let's go to a salsa club. There'll be a lot of attractive women there. Yeah, right. Attractive women with jealous partners. It's an early night for me. My salsa club days are over. There's a fabulous beach I want to visit here before we leave port. There should be time tomorrow. You know, over a quarter of a century ago, a vessel lost about 25,000 plastic ducks overboard in heavy weather. And you can still see them now, floating around in places like Hawaii, South America and Australia. Yeah, I've also heard that about 100,000 cigarettes were lost overboard not long ago, and then eaten by whales and other marine animals. Did you know that 10,000 containers are lost at sea every year? Yeah, there's so much garbage in the sea. It's seriously worrying. So, we've got TVs in hold number two and DVD players in hold number three. And what's in hold number four? We've got phones in there. Oh, I've just bought my son a drone. I said phones. The drones are in hold number one. Okay, right. So, can you give me all the forms? Oh, damn. I must have left them in one of the holds. Do you know which one? I know I had them on me when I was in hold number one, four and two. So, I must have left them in number three. Why aren't you happy with the loading? What do I need to take? What do I need to take? Where's the typhoon now? Why are you drinking so much water? Do you know how to do CPR? This vessel has a ballast water capacity of 1,300 meters cubed. There's a distress alert on channel 60. There's a distress alert on channel 60.
This vessel was built in the year 2016. Our cargo is 97,682 tons of crude oil. Our cargo is 97,682 tons of crude oil. Those shipping containers weigh 8,256 pounds. Those shipping containers weigh 8,256 pounds.
Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you want to say thank you for the creator, please like and subscribe to support this channel to provide another video for you.